Thank you for taking a chance on me. Thank you for taking a chance on someone you don't know. Um, that is an addiction because often people don't like to help people like me. <laughs> they don't understand the decisions I've made. They think it's easy for me to just say no, and it's not. And um, I just want to say thank you for helping the Omega Project save my life. Thank you. Drugs, sorrow, heartache, it's pretty bad stuff. Before I came to the Omega Project, life was hectic, and I was in jail, and I lost my kids, and I just pretty much lost everything, and I didn't care about anything, so it was pretty chaotic. I'd had a problem with alcohol for a long time, uh, since my teens, but as a mother I didn't really have it until uh, the girls got older and uh, took care of their own lives. I would live every day like I was going to die because that's how bad things were in my addiction, going from fix to fix and just really not having a care in the world because I couldn't. I, I just couldn't focus on life skills because I was too busy trying to find my next high. It was just miserable. My life in the, before I came into Omega was totally chaotic. Uh, before I came here, I was prescribed a heavy dose of antipsychotics. I was on uh, anxiety medication. This program showed me that there's other ways to live. You know, I lost uh, two of my brothers and my sister. And um, that's what leading me to drinking so much. One of the biggest things about the program I didn't want to come to is because uh, I knew it would work. Um, I still wanted to uh, um, drink my problems away. Uh, then when I met Pastor and he uh, came and visited me at the hospital, when I was going to die, pretty much. I told him I got this, and he said, well, I guess I'm wasting my time. I am important enough to be alive because I, there's been times I, that I didn't think that. Good changes are never easy. I've really learned about who I am. I've learned to value myself and others, and God is a strong factor in my life now. Um, it's helped me to be somebody that I never thought I could be. I mean, I feel like I'm a productive member of society. I go to work. I, I mean, it's just, I'm just kind of normal now, I feel like. I was hopeless, and I didn't think, I mean, anything could get better, and then I found this place, and it gave me hope. I would say the absolute deepest and most fulfilling change that has occurred in me and with me has been my walk with Jesus. It has become not just the Lord is my shepherd and I worship him, it is the Lord is my shepherd and I worship you Jesus. Thank you for being there with me. People go through catastrophes and a lot of people don't know how to handle it. Um, the Omega programs taught me how to work through these issues, how to work through problems properly, and how to conduct myself in, in a godly manner. A lot of other places are 12-step programs, and they have God on the outskirts. Um, this program puts God in the center, and at the center of recovery is very important, and I think at the center of life is very important. Since I've been in the program, I've been given employment, and I've been free from all of those drugs. I'm not bogged down, uh, clear-headed, a uh, sense of joy in my life, not having to feel, feel like I take a pill to feel normal.
that God is able to do anything and everything. Um, I feel I have a, God gave me another chance, a real chance. And I guess um, he's always given me a chance, but I actually gave him the chance. I'd probably be dead, to be honest. I would be in prison or dead, to be honest with you. In jail or prison? I would be a miserable old lady. I'd be in prison. Or dead. I'd be dead. There ain't no second thought about it. losing my daughter. That has been the single most hardest thing that I've had to deal with, not only in this program, but in my life period. I thank God for the Omega Project because without the support of these people, I don't think I would have made it this far. The Omega Project saved my life. Um, and you donors also saved my life. God has saved my life. And thank you. Thank you so much for everything you have done for this program and given us the opportunity to do with your help. I also don't think that when I say thank you or when others say thank you, they firmly can understand the importance of what that gift was doing for us. So since I was 23 years old, I have basically never been able to walk or jog or do anything without looking over my shoulder. And uh, the freedom that I have found this year in being able to walk without looking over my shoulder and knowing that I am safe because Jesus is covering me. But it's just such a freedom, such a blessing to be able to walk and not look over my shoulder. It gives me, you know, hope. Hope that addicts out there uh, can recover. I would want to give my sincerest thank you because for me, this has been a lifesaver. I mean, and literally and figuratively. I would say thank you for the hope that you brought back into my life for giving me a chance. And I greatly appreciate that. Because no matter what, there's always going to be addicts, there's always going to be alcoholics, but there's not always going to be a place like this to save us. I believe I'm that man that God wanted me to be. Waking up every morning and knowing that uh, I don't have to do what I used to do to get through a day. My biggest thing is I'm not worshiping my bottle no more, I'm worshiping God. Your generous giving truly makes an incredible impact. Thanks to you, the Omega Project currently has space for 45 men and women who are desperately in need of help and have been all but forgotten by their community. Just this year, we have completed construction on and have opened our women's shelter with room for at least 12 women and children who are in need of temporary housing. We are proud to announce that we are opening a women's house in Bueller. Because of you and your faithful giving, the Omega Project is expanding beyond the city of McPherson, and the number of people that we can reach is growing every year. Just this year, we have positively impacted the lives of over 114 residents. With the help of the community and Omega Workforce, over 90% of able-bodied residents are employed and contributing to the economy after just two months. Our residents have stepped it up, and they've paid over $17,000 toward fines and court costs just this year. On top of that, they have paid over $19,000 toward past due child support. Going a step further, the residents have paid over $20,000 toward various debts that had been going unpaid prior to their joining the Omega Project. 
And what we are most proud of is our residents have been giving back to the community. This year alone, they have provided over 3,100 voluntary community service hours and more are being completed every day. None of this would be possible without the 215 donors that gave to the ministry in 2019. The staff and volunteers here at the Omega Project are humbled and thankful every day because the Lord has allowed us to work in and with such a great community. We look forward to serving you for years to come and we pledge to always do our best to help others live free. Thank you.